How's it going, Taggers? It's Matt, and welcome back to another episode of A Star and a Rizu Prize Tank. And today's guest, some say, he plays World of Tanks with only two thumbs. But recently, he's been playing World of Tanks with two thumbs and two fingers! Right, so who is it then? Well, let me tell you a little story before we get into all that. Last year, you may remember, I was invited to Tank Fest as one of the EU contributors for World of Tanks console. Met a few cool people there, um, but not, don't want to sound rude when I say this, but when I first got there, I knew who Ben was from the Beard Guys because he did Twitch streams and stuff like that, so I'd seen his face. So I knew who he was, got him with him, pretty cool. But a few of the other people there, there were some big names I sat around the table with, like Jingles and Sircon and people like that, and Pointy Hair Jedi, I knew who he was. There was one point I was sat at the table, a uh, guy sat next to me, opened his mouth, just happened to be Aging Jedi as well. Yeah, that was a bit freaky. Been sat next to him for ages and first time he spoke, I knew exactly who he was. But there were some other people there, I didn't know who they were and they didn't know who I was either. And I got chatting to one guy, a really, really, really nice guy. And it turns out he was been invited there for the Blitz team, World of Tanks Blitz. Because he played World of Tanks with two thumbs only. And how he manages to pull off the replays he does on his channel using two thumbs on a touchscreen, absolutely no idea. And he's been playing console for a couple of weeks now. Um, yeah. And he's managed to buy himself an E25, pretty good choice I might say myself. Um, yeah, so who is it? Well, it's Skate Extreme. Really, really good. Well, he started off with Blitz. With some really, really good Blitz replays on his channel. Some really, really good advice for Blitz players on there. But in the last couple of weeks, um, chatting to us guys, he went and got himself an Xbox, started playing, and he's already having results like this game already. Yeah, get. Anyway. So yeah, he's out in the E25, tier 7 premium German tank destroyer with extremely fast rate of fire, extremely fast tank. Um, does suffer with no armour and stuff like that, but then again, you guys that are in the know, you know, you don't play tanks like this for armour, and if you're relying on the armour, you're doing it wrong in the first place. Right, right, so first damaging shot again. He's hitting a tier 6 here, this is it KV85, was it? It's a couple in before he goes down. He's just using the mobility. Now to get this tank into a position to fire, use its stealthiness. Here we go. Unloading again. Nice engine shot there. Track, come on. This guy's stuck there now, he could be done. Ah, misses the kill again, what a shame. Anyway, so he's, a, he's new to World of Tanks console, but you can see he obviously knows what he's doing. He set the tank up, at least two pieces of equipment and the right piece of equipment. He's got Caminet and Binos, exactly what you need for an E25. Doesn't have the best of base view ranges, but with Caminet and Binos you can be pretty stealthy. And that's the thing with this tank. The camo value is insanely good and when you match that with paint which it looks like he's got and also the camo net you can spot your own tanks in this thing and fire at them oh, check him out he even knows where the weak spot on the um, t28 concept is struggling to hit it with this little pop gun but there we go he's got some shots in now gets the side of him uh, look at this dpm go to work switches back to his standard ammo misses a shot there Anyway, so he's pushing in some more. Maybe, maybe getting a little bit too aggressive here, but who am I to say anything and gets caught out and he's been spotted. Come on, setting the gun up. Hopefully that guy doesn't have gun depression to get to him. No, he doesn't look like he did. Right, come on, skate. Get some more damage done. Yeah, it was a bit strange for us at Tank Fest for the uh, Contributors Day because, you know, the big names, everybody knew who they were. And then there was us guys just casually sat there with jingles. Yeah, it was a, it was a bit freaky. Oh, yeah, look at this rate of fire, man. 75mm. It's basically a tank you see on a lot of the tier 5s. German tier 5s, but because of the rate of fire and stuff like that, it becomes so horrendously overpowered. There we go. T23 E3 down. Love that tank. It's a bit like this. 
Well, it's nothing like this, is it? But the, the gun on the T23 is, is a bit like the gun on the E25. Very, very good rate of fire. Um, but low pen. Bit of a weird position to take up. I've not been there myself. I might try that in the future. You got a few shots down the range there. A little push up the hill, and he should be back in line now. To oh, sh shizzle! Couple of heavies in front of him. That's a T29. Doesn't want to get hit by that. He's gonna hang around for another shot. Yes, he is. Careful, mate. T29 will get you from there. Right, so they're being capped. But they are capping. Well, no, they're not. Yes, they are. Right, I reckon he's going to make his way back now to defend the cap. Right, so check the speed of this tank out. And they're losing. Wow, they've only got four tanks left against six. Plenty of health though. They destroyed one of our tanks. Right, so he's just going to go for it by the looks of it. Oh wow, the dude left the cap. It's a Challenger. That is Looks like that one not good for through. him because the Challenger is one of those tanks has equally as good rate of fire as Skate, but he has a turret as well. Cool, well, it's a turret traverse on that tank is a little poor. And the track traverse on the E25 is so good that it's just making a mince out of him. And we go challenge down from pretty much full health. Let's even the numbers up. That's some good work there, wasn't it? Wow, there we go. Now on his own, one versus three. Remember, Skate's only been playing console for a couple of weeks. Looks like he's going to go up in these bushes, uh, set up his cabinet and binos, and set up a little ambush. Good idea, but the only trouble with this, if he does get cornered, leaves him little, um, little opportunity to be able to get out again. Relocate to the top of the hill. Probably a good idea. He doesn't want to get trapped in that corner. Throwing up the camo net. And there we go. Spotted sound. There's that T29. Wow. Because he turned his turret. Turned his turret. Doesn't have a turret. Because he turned his tank. Didn't have the camo net deployed. We got spotted there.
spotted something without the fire nose being deployed. Wow, the T29 drove past him. He's basically giving him his, his health now. As long as he can hit these shots. The rate of fire is so good on this tank. Come on, one more shot. He's tracked him. Boom, T29 down. So it's now one versus two. Again, where is he? Where is he? He's behind him. What's he going to do? It's a tier 7 as well. Pretty much full health. Looks like he's just going to go for it. So I rammed him. This tank here doesn't have a very good rate of fire. So as long as he can connect all of his shots, he should survive. For it. He bounces a shot. Right, there we go, another tier 7 taken down. It's now one versus one, and we know exactly where he is. Not looking too hot on ammo. Three minutes of the game left. Cat progress is about 50% now. Hasn't got much time to do this. So he's just skirting around the cat trying to get a spot, but he's running very short of time now. There we go, he gets the spot. Sets up for a shot, but the guy backs up. Alright, he's going to have to put his man pants on. Remember, he's a pro YouTuber though. He's left it this long to ensure he gets his defender medal. There he is, not even looking the right way. He swings his turret. It's a T-34-88. Survives the shot. Come on, one more round. There we go. T-34-88 down and an impressive victory there for Skate Extreme. Quick the results then. Nice amount of silver as a premium tank. Excellent XP. This has got to be an ace tanker. Four kills. 4,890 damage. Ace tanker, defender and a sniper in the E25 for Skate Extreme. Right, there we go fellas. That's my body skate. Go check him out. Links in the video description below and I hope you enjoyed that. Right, cheers guys, catch you on the next one, see you later.